diocesan knights and ladies, Bishop Ezra of Four, maintain that Christians need to grow in their relationship with God, especially in giving thanks to Him for His benevolence and blessings to mankind. He cautioned Christians against grudging while offering sacrifices to God, reminding them of the need to always be an example to others in whatever they do. We grow educationally, economically, financially, health wise, social relationships. But when it comes to our relationship with God, it appears that we are struggling. Right Reverend Ozofo, who is also the National Chairman of the Evangelical Fellowship in the Anglican Communion, EFAC, Nigeria, maintained that through the poverty of Jesus Christ, man became rich, describing it as the greatest grace of God. In his remark, the chaplain of Agwata Diocesan Council of Knights, Reverend Canon Izun Namuoneke, while describing the Holy Spirit as the regulator of human life, charged Christians to always ask God to direct their daily lives in order to succeed in life. Reverend Canon Mwoneke regretted that many Christians are not making proper use of time and urged the faithful to always be time conscious, warning them against procrastination. The president of Agwata Diocesan Council of Knights, Sa Obioro Keke, said that the act of thanksgiving creates opportunity and called on Christians to form the habit of giving thanks to God in order to continue to receive more of his blessings. The president of the Ladies Auxiliary, Lady Gloria Ezezika, Deputy Chancellor of Agwata Diocese, Professor Mitchell a one-time member of the Anambra State House of Assembly, Sa Uche Ubonna, former local government chairman of Urumba North Local Government, Lady Uche Ngosu, Lady Ngozi Ike, among others, attended the event from Ekulobia in Agwata Local Government Area. Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. Culture and traditions of, the, of a community, they say, depict who they are and define their way of life. To this effect, Ndezi Agola Aguleri in Anambra East Council area came out on mass to celebrate their Onwesa, also known as Ikenga Festival, which is used to mark the end of farming season. It is also called Omumu Child Childbirth Celebration. Our correspondent, Amaka Chibuzokoe, brings us the details. The event, which took place at Ama Umwala Ezia Gula Aguleri, attracted the traditional ruler of Aguleri, Igwe Michael Idigo, the President General of Aguleri Community Assembly, Chief Ifani Ila Akasia, members of the ruling council, Ndi Ojana, Ndi Iruavo, and the women groups. It started with the entrance of Chief Uderike Onkwe, the custodian of Ikenga Masquerade, accompanied by his age mates, Obi-Wan age grade Aguleri, who joyfully danced around some strategic areas in the community, followed by breaking of Kola North by Igwe Idigo. Speaking on the significance of the festival, Obi Eze Agula Aguleri, Chief Chinedu Udoba, called on the people of the community to promote and preserve their culture and traditions as it is their heritage. <laughs> The President General, Aguleri Community Assembly, Chief Ila Akasia, noted that the annual festival signifies unity, peace, and progress, which the Ikenga artifacts represent, and called on members of the community to come together, foster unity, showcase their culture, and thank God for being with them all through the farming season till harvesting period. In their separate speeches, the chairman of Ezra Gulu Aguleri, Chief Michael Obike, and Vice Chairman Ikenga Ezra Gulu Forum, Chief Fidelis Ebuche, maintained that the festival brings progress, development, and breakthrough, asking Ndi Aguleri to go back to their roots. Speaking on behalf of Obiwane Age Grade, Chief Ekene Onora disclosed that the ceremony comes immediately after Alomo, where the rest to, and whoever emerged the winner will be the custodian of Ikenga Masquerade, while the chairman of the planning committee of the festival, Mr. Emmanuel Afuo, and his secretary, Mr. Vincent Akora, noted that the festival is what they are known for. There was a very age in Malaysia, mm. right from origin. Mm. 
na hospital of Woody of Buddha, and then near a little island. No, there on the man van on a water marker on a water camera. If I'm not going to make it, the festival featured wrestling by the male members of the community, displays by different age grades and women folk. From Ama Umwala, Ezia Gula Glory, Amaka Chibuzo, Okoye, ABS. The federal government of Nigeria says it will commercialize the country's research and development output for the socioeconomic growth of the country. The Minister of Innovation, Science and Technology, Chief Uchen Naj, stated this when he received a delegation from the Defense Research and Development Bureau, led by its Director General, Major General Emmanuel Ndagi, in his office in Abuja. Chief Naji, who noted that President Ahmed Tinibu's Tinibu-led administration is focused on the commercialization of R&D products, said the ministry has done so much in the area of research and development through its agencies. Hence, the collaboration is of great importance as it is, the, as it is key to access funding for a quick and effective commercial, commercialization of the country's R&D products. On this backdrop, he called on the organized private sector to partner with the ministry so as to commercialize research and development outputs into finished product, into finished goods and services to reduce overdependence on importation and increase the country's gross domestic product GDP. The Director General of the Defense Research and Development Bureau, Major General Emmanuel Andagi, had Ellis said that the agency has the mandate to coordinate and sponsor research for the armed forces institutions and innovative centers in the country. According to the Director General, the purpose of their visit was to strengthen the existing partnership between the agency and the ministry in using R&D output to transform the country's economy from resource to knowledge based. A statement signed by Deputy Director, Press and Public Relations of the Ministry Obed Atora had quoted the, the Director General as saying that cooperation with the Ministry can also be extended to land, marine and aerospace to further boost national security. The British and Austrian governments have signed a new deal to work more closely to combat migration as Vienna looks to set up a Rwanda-style system for processing asylum applications. Speaking in the Austrian capital, Britain's Home Secretary Shrela Berverman said that Britain and Austria, Austria share challenges to protect their borders, defeat extremism, and keep their people safe. Under a Rwanda style plan, Austria wants to process asylum seekers in a third country before deciding whether to let them come to Europe or not. Under the scheme, anyone granted asylum would then continue to live in Rwanda while those who were refused will be deported back to their country of origin. The UK's conservative government has long harbored ambitions to outsource asylum applications to Rwanda and become the first European country to strike a deal to pay the African nation more than 140 million euros per year to take asylum seekers. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Senator John Owen Eno, has said the ministry will be focused on the development of sports at the grassroots level. Mr. Eno, who stated this in Lagos during the edition of the Pistop Monthly Criterium, also spoke about the plans to accelerate sports development in the country. The minister said that focus is trying to see how they can get a quick fix for sporting facilities in the grassroots so that the talented ones can showcase what they can do. Commending the Peace Stop Lagos community for promoting cycling and a promise to support the sport, expressing the hope that such initiatives will be replicated across the country. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television Orca. You can follow us on X at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. 
Before we end the news, we told you that Anglican Bishop of Aguata Diocese, as of four, has charged Christians to develop acts of giving as Nde Eze Agola Aguleri celebrates Onwe Sa. We also told you that the federal government is to commercialize research and development products for economic growth as British Austrian governments have signed pact to tackle migration. To end the news, Governor Chuoma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's continue to give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's the news this morning. I am David Obukwasa, thanking you for joining us.